Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to my channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing great. Today's video is going to be about a super fantastic clone, one of the best clone fragrances that I have ever tried. It comes from a relatively unknown brand called Oros and their pure line and the full name of the fragrance is Oros Pure Leather Gold. This is a fantastic clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. So in this video I'm going to show you the packaging, the bottle design, I'm going to talk about the scent and the performance of this fragrance, how much I paid for it, and then at the end of the video I'm going to tell you my honest opinion on whether Oros Pure Leather Gold is actually worth checking out. As usual, I'm going to start by showing you the presentation of this fragrance. This is the box that the fragrance comes packaged in. It's a black colored box with some texture to it. On the front you got two small metal, uh, metal uh, planks uh, that, uh, you know, on the front, on the top you see the word original and then in the middle you see the name of the fragrance, you know, the, the name of the brand. The bottle size and concentration on the bottom around the back some additional information on sticker of authenticity there's a production date as well which reads of uh, september of 2022 you got this nice ribbon uh, that's uh, wrapped around the the box so it looks like a present in a way you slide up the top part then there's a uh, this paper inside that uh, claims that the crystal that you get on the bottle is an uh, original uh, Swarovski crystal and so this is the the box and this is how the bottle looks as you can see it has a sort of a very interesting uh, design looks like an old school uh, microphone studio microphone to me the, the bottle itself has the squarish uh, design here is that uh, Swarovski crystal that's uh, implemented in the cap the cap is not a snug fit so you probably uh, should not pick up the bottle to the cap and then on the atomizer itself as you can see there's the uh, Oros uh, branding uh, and all in all the packaging is really really nice the whole bottle has a real heft to it and looks really nice on your in stand with the other fragrances from your collection if you enjoy my videos guys I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button it really means a lot to me okay I'll show you the spray in action and then I'll tell you what I pick up from this fragrance the sprayer is very nice. Oh man, I love this uh, the scent of this fragrance. So the opening to my nose is dominated by the rose and leather combo. There's a touch of uh, spiciness from that saffron note. I'll, I'll also pick up a touch of uh, sort of uh, slight uh, sweetness from that raspberry note. And the opening is actually quite close to uh, another high-end designer fragrance from the house of Tom Ford and their fragrance Tuscan Leather. It's not super similar, but you'll definitely catch up uh, some of those vibes if you know how Tuscan Leather smells. Once this starts to dry down, it becomes a little bit more sweet. Uh, the amber starts to kick in. Uh, the rose and leather combo stays prominent throughout the life of this fragrance, but also on the dry down, you start to get some of that agar oud as well. And also a touch of incense somewhere in the background. It's not very smoky type of a fragrance, but there's definitely incense with this one. And now onto the similarities between this and the original fragrance from Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad that this is cloning. As I said in the opening of this video, this is one of the best clones that I have ever tried, both scent-wise, how close it is to the original scent that it's cloning, and also the quality of scent of the scent in here. It's super, super, super close to the original scent. And especially in the air, they're, they're almost identical, if not identical. Also, as I said, this the scent profile here is very, very high quality. There's no harshness, there's no chemical smell, no alcohol smell, absolutely nothing. So, as I said, this is a super fantastic clone of uh, Ombre Nomad. When we talk about the performance of uh, Leather Gold from Oros, this is uh, almost a beast mode performing fragrance. I easily get at least 10 hours of performance on my skin without any problem, with pretty loud projection in the first about 2 hours. If you go a little bit heavy on the sprayer, this is a room feeling type of scent. So performance wise, there are, there are absolutely no issues with uh, Oros Pure Leather Gold. 
when we talk about the price tag. Now this uh, is one of the more expensive clones that I have ever bought. I, uh, I bought this one from Notino when they were having uh, a sale and uh, I paid roughly about uh, 55 euros, so about 65 dollars maybe in US dollars in order to acquire this fragrance. So as a clone fragrance this is one of the more expensive clones that I've seen but uh, considering how expensive the original Ombre Nomad is this is still what at least five to six times cheaper compared to the original. So. Compared to the original scent, this is uh, a nice deal, but uh, compared to some other clones, this is a more expensive clone fragrance. When it comes to versatility, it's not a super versatile fragrance. In fact, it's quite limited, I think, when it comes to usage type scenarios with this one. This is definitely a cold weather scent and definitely more orientated towards nighttime usage. Also, this is, uh, some people will say that this is an unisex fragrance, but to me this uh, leans quite heavily to the masculine side, especially because of that incense leather um, combo that you get and agar wood combo that you get with this fragrance. Also, I think uh, you need to be at least a little bit dressed up in order to wear this fragrance properly. You know, maybe some nice shirt and a blazer or something like that, or the worst case scenario, something like a nice leather jacket this is not safe for um, uh, office usage uh, if you don't want to suffocate people maybe you can wear this to the office uh, when you're having some really important business meeting and uh, you want to make a lasting impression but apart from that this is not a uh, fragrance that's safe for office usage so all in all versatility is very limited with this fragrance but that comes with the scent profile. and on to my final thoughts about oros pure leather gold and uh, whether you should check this one out or not I absolutely love this fragrance, it's a super super high quality scent that's very very close to the original fragrance, one of the best clones as I said that I have ever tried. So if you are familiar with the way that Ombre Nomad smells, you like that smell but you don't want to spend uh, you know that small fortune that this fragrance costs the original one, I think this currently is the best clone on the market when it comes to cloning Ombre Nomad. Uh, so, if you're looking for the best alternative, best clone of Ombre Nomad, definitely check out Oros Pure Leather Gold. But this is definitely not a fragrance that's a, a, a safe blind buy. I would strongly recommend you to uh, try this one, sample this one first before committing to a full bottle. Even though it's not super expensive, it's still one of the more expensive clones out there. All in all, Oros Pure Leather Gold gets a huge thumbs up and a love from me. So guys, in today's video I showed you what I think is currently the best alternative or clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad out there from the house of Oros and their pure line, the Oros Pure Leather Gold. I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, give it a like and I also hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.